Marketing to Baby Boomers, The One Demographic Trap The baby boomer generation is a hotly sought after market. Perhaps you've already had success marketing to baby boomers. But, you could be missing part of this group. If you are trying to market to a group called baby boomers, you need to take a second look at this market and niche down your target age group. Why? Because the generally accepted time frame of this demographic is someone born between 1946 and 1964. That is one wide range of ages to target. The United States currently has an aging population. We know this from any statistics you care to read at the U.S. Census Bureau. The problem with lumping the baby boomers into one marketing group is obvious when you look at the spread of years that are commonly used to describe this period in America's history, the period post-World War II. Currently, people born during the post-World War II baby boom are in age groups anywhere from late 40s to mid-60s. That difference in age is a difference in life experience that can be considered an entire generation, and often is. Do you market to someone in their 40s or someone in their 60s? I can tell you that the wants and needs of a person in their 40s are vastly different from someone in their 60s. If you simply search the term baby boomer and market to whoever pops up, you haven't narrowed your market to a specific audience. For instance, if I click on a website that sells products marketed to baby boomers, and those products are for retired individuals, I may be turned off immediately if I'm in my 40s busting my hump every day trying to earn a living. Vacations, cruises, or other luxuries of time may not appeal to the person in their 40s who is granted only two weeks vacation every year, has kids at home, or possibly in college. Be why the same token, if I click on a website that uses the general term boomer in their marketing vernacular, and the products they sell are anti-aging creams and serums, which age group are they targeting? In my 40s, I may have bought up every anti-aging cream on the market but folks in their 60s may not be as interested in anti-aging miracles. They may be more interested in soothing, moisturizing potions. How can you target your products more specifically to the age group you intended them for? Simply put, you may want to drop the baby boomer references entirely. It's perfectly fine to use that term as a general remember when reference, but when it comes to a direct sales approach, you need to know your market better than that. I, in other words, use the term baby boomer only when waxing nostalgic, not when trying to market a product. If your product is meant for someone in their 40s, still struggling with kids at home, market to that person, not the person in their 60s who is downsizing and ready to retire. Duh. If your product is designed to help someone find Medicare supplement insurance, don't accidentally scoop up an audience in their 40s and 50s by using a baby boomer marketing strategy. Your business, and your integrity, could suffer if you lose credibility with any age group. Take a tip from the folks who send out that infamous appeal to join their group at age 50, the letter reaches your door when you turn 50, and not a year before, unless you have a mythical magical product that appeals to everyone in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, stop marketing to the group called baby boomers. It's often said that when you're writing something for many people to read, write for one person. I must add, sell to one person. Know the one person you are marketing to, and not just an arbitrary demographic. Picture the individual your product will benefit instead of trying to figure out some swooping baby boomers marketing strategies. D don't lump us together, we are very different people within one demographic. We'll respect you and your product when you treat us as individuals. We may even become your best customer and you will be rewarded with the trust and esteem of a very large audience.